Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor with Winter Haven RV in Lake Wales, Florida. Today I want to take you on a tour of this 2022 Alliance Avenue. It's the 32 RLS floor plan. Uh, this one is about 35 foot 3 inches long. It's about 10,700 pounds empty and it has three slide outs. This is a really cool fifth wheel and I think you're really going to like it. So let's go ahead and start our tour here on the inside. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start our tour of this 2022 Alliance Avenue fifth wheel here at the entry door. Uh, we're looking toward the rear of the trailer. Again, this is a 32 RLS floor plan. The RLS stands for rear lounge slide. We actually have two slides back in the rear lounge. Uh, one of them is over here on the kitchen side. This is all a slide. And we also have an opposing slide over here on the dinette and seating side. Uh, coming on to the back of very back of the trailer, we have a very large uh, sleeper sofa. This is a trifold sleeper sofa uh, that's going to easily accommodate two full size adults. You can see the windows have the roller shades, uh, nice pull down roller shades, and those are throughout the whole interior. They are totally light blocking, so you're going to be able to make it nice and dark in here if you would like to. Uh, uh, so you can, it's easier to sleep in the mornings when the sun comes up and all that good stuff. Up to the cabinetry here, you'll see we have uh, a very light natural wood cabinetry. Uh, this does not extend through all of the uh, of the uh, interior. We do have white cabinetry also in the kitchen, but all of the natural wood cabinetry has frosted glass front uh, fronts on the cabinet doors. Uh, you can see there's some frosted glass in this little decorating nook here, and it is edge lit and backlit, so it makes a nice, uh, uh, nice uh, look to it, very modern and sleek. Uh, over here on this side, I've taken the liberty of putting a flashlight back in this uh, cabinet to kind of highlight that those are frosted glass. I think it would be a really cool little upgrade or, or project to add some low voltage or battery powered tap lights inside of there if you wanted to have uh, a few of the cabinets backlit uh, in the evening. It would look really cool. Um, Kind of panning over here to the dinette slide. You can see we have a freestanding dinette with two chairs and a bench. Uh, nice setup. I love the, the fabric choices on this. It's got that nice natural wood. Uh, very bright, open, and airy here in the interior. Between the natural wood and the light colored vinyl flooring, uh, it, it really brightens everything up. We've got nice light gray uh, vinyl or, or synthetic leather on the seating surfaces, so it's a really nice uh, open and airy look. We've got our theater seat recliner right there, and of course that will be uh, facing over here to the entertainment system. And over on this side we have our electric fireplace. We also have a large flat screen television up above that. And we do have a drive brand stereo here in the middle with uh, speakers on the side. We've got more of those, uh, more of those frosted glass uh, doors uh, on the cabinetry up above. And here you can see uh, into the kitchen we've got the nice white cabinetry, which gives it a really, just a contemporary sleek kind of a look. I, I really, really like it. Plus it makes everything look bright. And uh, I think that makes this floor plan appear even bigger than it is. Everything in here is in beautiful condition. We've got our solid surface countertops. It's a, a really nice. It's got almost a little bit of a glitter to it, like a quartz type of a top. We've got a large single bowl sink right here with a sprayer handle on the faucet, as well as the uh, this drying rack that you can put over top of the uh, sink. We have a three burner cooktop and oven over here in stainless steel. It's a Greystone brand. And up above that we have a full size residential microwave, uh, stainless steel microwave there. Uh, our refrigerator is an RV refrigerator. It's a four door refrigerator which will operate on both uh, electric or propane. So a uh, very good option if you were going to do any kind of dry camping. Uh, that, that, those work out really good for that. 
Uh, we, oh, I'm zooming the wrong way there, sorry about that. Right here we've got a nice pantry. It does have lighting in the pantry, so if it's uh, in the evening and it's dark, you won't have to turn on any lights to see what's going on in there. We have more cabinetry as well as more ca uh, counter space over here on this uh, uh, front side of the kitchen. Uh, lots of uh, cabinetry, nice big cabinet doors up above. We have a nice little nook again in here to set maybe spices or things like that. And we've got more of that lighted frosted glass in the rear there. Uh, we'll go on up into the bathroom and bedroom area. We have our steps uh, leading on up. And we have a nice big walk-in shower. Uh, with with uh, glass doors on that little little bit of a, a cabinet there in the corner of course our our foot flush toilet and that is a porcelain toilet it's not plastic and then coming over here to the vanity you can see we've got a marble look uh, countertop on there and it, it it's a thermofoil type countertop um, it, it, those hold up really well uh, they, they tend to do a lot better than Formica or something like that. We have white cabinetry in here as well, and we have a nice uh, medicine cabinet up above that. And then finally, coming back here into the bedroom, we have a uh, kind of a built-in chest here at the foot of the bed with uh, six drawers in it. And we have a king bed. Uh, and the king bed has plenty of windows. There's one window uh, at the head of the bed and one on each side, so you can have uh, plenty of light come in. We've got charging ports, uh, USB charging ports, and electrical outlets on each side of the bed. That's something that you don't always see uh, in all trailers and fifth wheels. Uh, sometimes you have to choose which side you want to put your uh, cell phone on to, to charge. Uh, looking here to the very front of the trailer, we have a large uh, wardrobe. Uh, we've got the natural wood, of course, on that. Uh, we've got the mirrored doors on there, so those are good for uh, not only making the space look larger, but it'd be great for dressing uh, mirrors. We do have a combination washer dryer that is installed in this, and it is a vented dryer. It's not a ventless, so this is going to dry better than a ventless model. And we, uh, it's just clean as a pen. Everything in here is super clean. It's not showing virtually any wear whatsoever. Uh, another thing that's nice is the, the doors on the wardrobe are a barn door style with the sliding hardware. Uh, I, that's a nice uh, kind of contemporary or farmhouse sort of a... Uh, of a touch also. So that's pretty much the inside of this trailer. Let's go ahead and continue our tour on the outside. Let's go ahead and continue our tour uh, here on the outside of this fifth wheel. Uh, to reiterate, this is a 2022 uh, Alliance Avenue 32 RLS. Uh, on the outside, it's in just as nice a shape as the inside. Uh, as I go around the outside, I'm going to point out some of the features um, and also I'm going to point out any flaws that I see in the exterior. It's in beautiful condition. It is not brand new, so if I see anything at all, I'm going to point that out to you. I do these videos not only to show you the layout and the features of an RV, but to show you the condition that it's in. And if anybody is out of state or out of the area and interested in this, if you would like even more information on it, I would be glad to do a detailed picture package that would show the surfaces of both inside and outside of the RV in even greater detail than this video. That's something I like to offer uh, before people make a trip to come in and see something. Although I don't think anybody would ever be disappointed with this RV. It's in that nice a shape. There are no bug or rock chips here on the front. It is a molded front cap, of course. Uh, the graphics are in beautiful shape on there. It uh, looks like it's got partial paint. In other words, this, this is, a, is an actual base coat, clear coat here. Um, up here under the fifth wheel area or the pin box area, we have 
our front storage compartment. It looks like it's virtually never been used in here. Uh, you've got a really nice battery box, which I like. It's got terminals at the back, so if those batteries needed to be charged uh, or you needed to hook some jumper cables up, that's a nice option uh, to having to uh, take the cover off the box. Uh, you do have docking lights up here, the switch right here. Uh, you can see our landing legs. This does have LCI electronic leveling. It's a four-point leveling system. This uh, compartment here has our propane tank, 30-pound propane tank, and we've got another one just like it on the other side in the same location. Here's our pass-through storage bay, and it's uh, in really nice condition in here as well. There's a few little extras that the previous uh, owner that traded this in left. We've got some wheel chocks some uh, hoses in the box over there, some leveling blocks and stuff like that. All of that goes with the trailer uh, at the sale. This has a slam shut door uh, with magnets that hold it open up here uh, at the top. This is in uh, the sidewalls in beautiful shape. Of course, there's no delamination or anything like that. Uh, the, the graphics are all nice and sharp with minimal to no fading. I don't see any cracks and peeling or anything like that. There is one little ding down here, a small ding about the size of maybe a dime. Uh, it's not real noticeable at all, but again, I'm doing this to point out both the good and the bad on a trailer. Uh, coming to our entry door, we've got the solid step fold-up steps, which are much more stable than the old style. This has been... Uh, they put an extended grab rail on this for entering. This area right here drops down further than the normal uh, style handle that they put on them. And that's just a little bit more stability for people that may need that. We have two patio awnings out here. We have a really nice large patio awning uh, over the, that uh, attaches to the main wall of the uh, trailer. It's got the LED lighting. Uh, up under there for nice glow at night and we have a second awning attached to this big slide out. This is your dinette and uh, the dinette slide that also has the theater seat recliner in it. Wasn't able to put this awning out all the way because we're so close to this other fifth wheel but uh, coming down here you'll see we've got aluminum wheels on this and this RV is also equipped with Goodyear endurance tires. Uh, Goodyear Endurance are some of the best, if not the best, uh, trailer tires that you can buy. They're an American-made tire, and to the best of my knowledge, all other trailer tires are Chinese-made. Um, I know that was true a few years ago. Maybe there's another uh, domestic producer that's in that game now, but to the best of my knowledge, the Endurance is the only American-made uh, trailer tire. It's certainly a really great tire. They cost about double what a typical uh, good Chinese tire would run. All the graphics are in beautiful shape back here. Coming back to the rear of the trailer, you'll see that we've got a ladder going to the roof. You do have a hitch down below that uh, you could mount a bike carrier or something like that on. Uh, you've got, uh, looks like some pre-wiring area for a camera up there. And here on the side of this, the trailer, it's in this, just as good a shape as the other side. I did notice a little bit of some sort of curling in the very edge of this graphic right here. I'm not sure what caused it. Uh, it's the only area that I've noticed that. It's a relatively small thing. I don't think many people would notice it, but it's something that I want to point out. Um, the slide is in great shape. Again, no delamination, no fading whatsoever on any of the uh, fiberglass, uh, and really the graphics uh, aren't faded at all either. You've got your water heater and your furnace right there, and here's the other side of that pass-through storage bay. Um, and you've got your, con your water connections here, your black tank flush, your water connection. You could connect your park cable or satellite here, and these are the valves to control how you supply water to the inside, whether it be dry camping or city water, or if you are winterizing or sanitizing, you can use those valves. And you've got a nice visual uh, sticker above that will show you which combination to put the valves in. It keeps it nice and simple. Uh, there's our bedroom slide up above uh, this area. And behind this door is the slide out, or not the slide, the leveling controls. Again, it's the LCI leveling. 
And uh, that's pretty much the outside of this RV. It's in beautiful condition. If you're looking for a pre-owned RV that's in almost like new condition, this would certainly be one uh, that would fall into that category. Uh, if you would like more information on it, you can contact me directly. My name is Brian, and my number is 863-651-9365. You can feel free to call or text on that number. And uh, you can also email me at Brian, that's B-R-I-A-N, at winterhavenrv.net. Uh, also, if you're seeing this uh, ad in uh, this video in the RV Trader ad, you can just respond to that ad and it will come directly to me. So uh, again, I'd be glad to help with however I can um, in, in helping you determine whether or not this might be the right RV for you. I sure appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I hope it's been helpful to you. You have a great day and God bless.